Hello there. <laughs> now, this news right here, since yesterday we got so many shows, I mean, we're gonna get Ahsoka. The poster looks like the world between worlds, so that's already mind blowing. We're gonna get the Bad Batch, we're gonna get Cassian Endo, we're gonna get Lando Calrissian. My man, Lando Calrissian. <laughs> I love Lando, he's one of my favorite characters. I mean, he's the smoothest character in the whole Star Wars galaxy. I mean, come on, when he walks up and says, Hello, what do we have here? Tell Leia to give my love. It's like, that's, that's a player right there. That's a player in the Star Wars universe and you can't deny that. But to hear, ever since Kenobi series got a, announced, I was freaking and jumping. I did a reaction to that. I was happy as hell. I was like, yes. Finally, and then yesterday, because the stream ended at 2 a.m., and I could barely go back to sleep. I was like, "Oh, thank you." Now I gotta go back to sleep. But I'm gonna just, I'm gonna talk later. But just like, I wanna watch the re reaction when they announce it. Just, I gotta see this because. Last August at the D23 Expo in Anaheim, we announced the return of Neil McGregor yes. in an iconic role of Jedi Master Obi Wan Kenobi. Hello there. Our special event series on Disney Plus. Obi Wan Kenobi begins ten years after the dramatic events of Revenge of the Sith, where he faced his greatest defeat, the downfall and corruption of his best friend and Jedi apprentice Anakin Skywalker turned evil Sith Lord Darth Vader. Our fans will be thrilled that Hayden Christensen will be returning to yes! the later. This will be the romance of the century. The series is directed by Jeff Chow coming up with the Okay, wait, I don't care about the rest. Yo, we got Hayden Christensen back, my nigga. Let's go, let's go. I gotta come down. I, I gotta hear this again. I gotta hear this again. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wait. There we go. Anakin Skywalker turned evil Sith Lord, Darth Vader. Our fans will be thrilled that Hayden Christensen will be returning in the role of Darth Vader. Yes! This will be the rematch of the century. Yes! Dude! Finally we got Hayden Christensen back as Darth Vader, yes! You guys don't even know how happy and exciting how much this means to me. I grew up with the prequels. I remember in the first Star Wars movie I ever saw in theaters where as was Attack of the Clones. That was the first Star Wars movie I saw in the cinemas. So seeing movie, the rest I already saw, you know, on DVD and all that. Yes, back then it was DVD. But the first movie, Star Wars movie I saw in cinemas was Attack of the Clones. And that movie really, really made me fell in love with Star Wars and made me obsessed with Star Wars. I loved that movie as a kid. I remember I walked out, I loved it so much. I forced my father and my brother to watch it four days in a row. I was like, again, again, again. So I loved Hayden Christensen from the start. He played him perfectly. I'm really happy to get a chance to do it again, kind of redeem himself. All this hate that Hayden got for portraying Anakin, even though he did an amazing job portraying Anakin. And people complaining, oh, the action was bad, this, this, this. No, he actually played him very, actually played him perfectly. Because the, that, that was the whole sense of Anakin Skywalker, because a lot of people, the problem was people saw Dark Vader as this amazing, fearful, badass that everybody's scared of, and then this other kid that is unsure, whining, this, egomaniac, all, all that, and Hayden Christensen played him so well. It's this kid who is unsure, not knowing, who wants power, he wants more, but you know he shouldn't. <laughs> it's just... He really did an amazing job and to see him back, I was like, since day one, since they announced that they're gonna make seven, eight, and as soon as I heard the make series, I was like, and as soon as I heard Kenobi, it's like, you gotta bring back Hayden Christensen. It's like, it's a must. It's like, how can you not tell the story of Kenobi and not have uh, Vader back? So James Earl Jones ain't probably gonna do no more voiceover, but to see Hayden Christensen get a chance to repeat himself, be back, this is just amazing. I actually got right here. <laughs> Right there, that's my Anakin Skywalker, what I just got. That I'm just over the moon. I am happy and so excited to see Hayden Christensen back as Dark Vader. Because he really did a great job in the prequels. He really portrayed Anakin really great as this unsure, uh, scared, but also like I'm the best 
kid in the universe with a lightsaber and it's just he really did a great job so i'm so happy he's finally back as soon as he came to celebration i was like oh come on there gotta be something with him more than that so i'm really happy about that i am all excited let me know what you guys think i know i know me as a prequel kid i am jumping up and down as <laughs> you can see i'm freaking out but this is just like this has been the best star wars news i have heard ever since they announced episode seven like Nothing made me more happy than this right here. Well, maybe the Kenobi series, but just like this is all we want to see. This is Lucasfilm and Disney. When you start doing shit correctly and giving us stuff that we want, then we will be happy. And you know, and continuity, this is like the biggest thing, we want continuity, but it's finally we're getting shows that the fans have been begging for, like give us Kenobi, give us Cash and Andor, give us, a give us this, and now they do. So something must have clicked or whatever changed in Lucasfilm, Keep it up, that's what we want to see. May the force be with you as always, and see you next time. But I don't like sand.